Nah. Right. Um. So, I was thinking. There was this article about this girl who lives around Chicago area. Oops, sorry about that. Sick. Um. Yeah, it lives around the Chicagoland area. She has a disease called cystic fibrosis, alright? Now, she's 27. No, she in high school she did three sports. She was cheerleader, dance team. <coughs> ah! I'll explain that in a minute. Um, cheerleader, dance team. No, all around athletic, popular... I, I'm, I'm assuming, I mean, who, uh, okay, name one cheerleader, dancing person who's not really that popular, come on, um, yeah, so, she's, di she's done all this, she went to college for an English profession, I believe, yeah, I think it was for an English degree, for your college, um, yeah, so she has this terminally ill disease, right, she's 27 right now, and she's waiting for a second lung transplant. Second, as in, this will be second time going in for another pair of lungs. Yeah, crazy, right? Now, I just turned 17, right? And thing is, I have that. I have cystic fibrosis, and to think. In Ten years, I could be walking around the house for five, ten minutes for an exercise. I mean, that's what she's doing. For prepping her for surgery, she's walking around the house. And I, I'm I'm somewhat active. I'm not like a three-sport person. I might be doing boys volleyball next season. Well, it's the season coming up, but I <clears throat> I'm still in the process of wrestling know, like, a good sport to stay into, but, no one buzzing, but yeah, I mean, what else is there, I mean, ah, uh, I mean, I don't, I, I don't really know what to say, it's really hard, like, I have so many, me so, so much medication, like, right here, you know, right here, I have some medicine in here, right before I eat, I have to take these freaking horse pills. This is the size of one. Well, if you could really see it. But yeah, it's about the size of my uh, pointer finger, like right at the little net edge right there. No, if you can see that. Oh uh, yeah, so you can use the camera, like right there. But yeah, I take I gotta take four or five of those before I eat lunch or dinner or breakfast. Two before snack, or milk, or whatever. Besides fruit and vegetables. The only time I can't ever take, I don't need to take them. <sighs> I gotta be on my nebulizer, what was it, uh, three, four times a day. With different medicines that I have in the fridge. I have some right behind me over there. I have my old nebulizer down here. I mean, and this thing, alright. And there's this machine that helps with it to get the mucus and stuff out, but it's I I should start off off by like describing it what it is to you. I'm sorry about that, but you know it's just getting all through my head, and I'm just trying to explain. But um, yeah, buzzing. Sorry, I have a light right here so you can see me better. It's really dark in my room. And it buzzes a lot. And, uh, yeah. I have a machine behind me that's $1,600. And all it does is I wear this weird, goofy-looking vest and, like, clip it together. And it gets, like, me... I get, like, two hoses on the side of me. I'm like, oh, it's a hose. And I scare the dogs with it sometimes. But yeah, I put that in the machine, and all it does is, like, um, breathe, pretty much, really fast. It vibrates pretty, your entire body for 20, 30 minutes, or however long you're supposed to do it. And with that, it helps me 
breathe, cough up, and like all this mucus and stuff. So like every now and again I would spit, you know, like with all the thick mucus. I know that's not as appetizing or if you're eating, eh, you shouldn't be watching this I guess. But yeah. Um, yeah, well, I'll leave a link down in the description about the girl, so you can read more about her if you want to, and I will also leave a recommendable link about cystic fibrosis down there, down uh, in the description, too, but from what I've known about cystic fibrosis, Usually the kids won't be average height, which is 5'10", right? But I'm 17, and I'm actually just 5'10", so I barely made it, I guess. I still have, I might have still have time to grow, but, you know, I got lucky. I mean, and I'm, I'm weighing in about 140 pounds. I mean, I'm, I'm scrawny. I have muscle to me. I'm not, like, chubby. I'm, I'm average, I guess, or a little bit less than the average. And, but, and, cystic has mucus in the lungs and digestive system. So, really, it's uh, quite a hassle to gain weight or lose weight or gain muscle. I mean, it's, well, losing weight, you know, if I don't take these pills, I could probably be 120 and not healthy and scrawny and at all. Uh, but it is, I mean, without mucus in my system, like in the pancreas or whatever, it, my body doesn't absorb the nutrients I get from, I'm supposed to get from the food at all times. And, yeah, same thing with the lungs. I can't get oxygen when I need it sometimes, it's hard. But, it happens, like, it, with cystic, automatically comes asthma. I mean, you cannot have cystic and not have asthma. You, it's just there. I mean, it's like, you can't really control that part. Well, how could you can't even control this anyway? It's, I don't know. It's, it's mind-boggling of how certain things happen to people. It's like, oh, well, middle school. I was the scrawniest kid there. I got beat up every day. Well, maybe once a week or twice a, once every two weeks, but you know, same thing. Like I always got beat up. But yeah. But now I wrestling helped me better, so it helped me breathe some more. This actually this nebulizer I just showed you. Well, I didn't show you the nebulizer, but yeah, I didn't show it to you, but. Yeah, it's brand new, so it works a lot better than my old one. And that one was pushing like 10 years. Ugh. Get rid of get rid. Of, if you have a nebulizer, try to you know get a new one every seven or so years. It'll help you out. But yeah, I mean, it's it's weird how certain things happen to people. I mean, she the girl's 27. Ten more years, I could be waiting for that lung transplant. And not getting it, or I don't. Last time I read about her, she was like, uh, "I might not even get it because this will be my second time." And it's just mind-boggling. If I don't stay healthy after high school, like I go to college, I'll turn lazy. You know who doesn't turn lazy? If like, usually if you get a scholarship with a sport, you'll be able to. But I won't get a scholarship with the sport. I'm not that great at wrestling. I'm... This season, I was 9-3. and three. I'm barely ever starting. So, yeah, college is gonna hit me up. Yeah. I'm talking to you, people. You know, if you know any colleges, you know. I'm good, yeah. Alright, yeah, um... <laughs> uh... But, yeah. It's mind-boggling. And... I'll... <sighs> I don't know how many people's gonna watch this. If, you know, five, ten people might watch it. Like, alright. But, you know, I'll pro probably try to post again. I mean, yeah, usually there's commentaries on here, or gameplays or whatever. But, 
Yeah, that's not going well. My computer is not that great at stuff and that. So, what you gonna do? Alright, um, I'll talk to you guys later then.